Um, hello everyone, my name is Tuz. I am an experienced expert and I am an ISDQB certified. Um, and I got the SPAN level test automation engineer certification from US uh, ISDQB. Um, it doesn't mean I'm trying to solve up myself, but I'm just trying to show you that I I have proven skill uh, to share with you the knowledge uh, of Power Mobile uh, automation test in this tutorial series. So this is my LinkedIn profile and you want to connect, so just simple to connect with me to keep in touch. And this is my LinkedIn profile and basically we will have um, automation test, mobile automation test for Android before C3. I will commit the latest code here, but uh, you don't need to worry because in the tutorial session, uh, you will learn and how to code yourself, and maybe you don't need to come to this repository at all, just in case you want to download the whole repository and run it again for presentation or something like that. Yeah. Okay, uh, so in this uh, Syria, I will share you how to um, create automation test uh, for your product with Appium, with WebDriver IO, and with Node.js. So I'm um, sorry about the noise around because my daughter just keep playing around me, so that's okay. So just forgive me in that case because I cannot isolate her, her from me. So maybe you will if you hear some voice. <clears throat> so in the first uh, lesson, um, it will be uh, not much. You just need to prepare uh, the environment for uh, your testing. So I have some quick notes here, but I will walk through with you. The first thing first, you need to install the NOSCAD environment. So you just simply go to NOSCAD.org and you need to download the LTS version. The LTS version does mean the long-term support. You don't need to play with the current one. So basically the current one is still in development and maybe there is still some unstable feature and you don't, don't want to do it. So just click on the LTS and download for appropriate uh, version for your machine. In this game, I'm using the Max OS and I'm download for the Max OS uh, version. So just try to install it like other uh, software is very easy. So after installation, so you may open the terminal and just symbol type the command not hyphen V and you can see the uh, version of the NOSCS. Um, so and you can check the npm hyphen V and you can see the NOS packet manager comes along with the NOS uh, ZS environment. Uh, this is my information on my machine. After that, you need to install the latest stable app uh, globally on your machine. To do that, you just need to npm install and npm as latest. So the latest means if you don't want to use the latest by some reason, you just need to do what to specify the version and you will install that version and you install. So I already installed on my machine. So after install, you have the APM hyphen V and you will get the latest information. So you can also check the latest information from the APM ePub repository. So just come here and on the right side here you see the release so you click on the release and you see the latest version release is 1.18.1 so basically we are now up to date okay so we need to download the android SDKs because in this course the uh, in the course we are um, trying to make an automation test project with Android. So actually you don't need to download the whole SDK but to make things easier for you um, just simply download the whole Android SDK and in some tutorial I will have some SVN tips for you in the real environment because you don't need to download all of them. Okay so just 
um, open a new tab and you will find something like Android SDK developer uh, and you can see it's now on the top of the search in here and you download the Android Studio and install it okay you don't need to customize anything just download and install it and after that you need to set up what set up the um, Android home and the Java home on your environment I don't think it's hard you can find easily uh, how to set up Java home on Windows okay here it's very easy and how to set up Android home on Windows so you can search on the Google and you can do it yourself so I'm using the Mac so basically I view modify my file profile bus profile here and you can see I export the server home and I export the Android home here and I ask them to uh, in my past my existing bed and everything is now set up app very easy and you can do the same thing by searching on the google how to do on the windows as well so the first thing you need to set up the java home uh, environment variable and the second thing that's the android home okay so um in summary, you need to prepare not yet the latest Appium and you download the Android uh, SDK and you set up the path for it, uh, everything. And the last things, the last thing here that uh, you need to download and install the Appium desktop. So you just simply go to the repository Appium desktop and you go to the release here and try to download uh, try something here is for Windows and here is for Mac and install it after install it you will see something like this but you don't worry you don't need to care about it mm, as well uh, in this lesson it's just an introduction you so you just download and install it and in next tutorial I will show you how to use it and what is it you can just read here uh, the description about what's the appium desktop okay so y if you have time you just go to the appium documentation and then uh, you do what you can read through about the appium design appium concept and everything here i don't want to write everything again because you can read it from the home page uh, what i'm going to do that's i will help you how to hand on and create a real automation test okay so that's all for uh, this tutorial and see you in the next tutorial.